Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can use an update query to update records en masse. So I'm using the students database and I've added a couple of fields in the students table. I've added the city column and a date checked column. Now all I did to do that is went back into design and just inserted that one there and then date check there. Now what I want the update query to do is automatically populate this date check column based on whichever city I tell it to. So what I'm going to use is Bradford because there's quite a few Bradford ones there and I'll use today's date for it to update. Now let's go into it. Create query by design normally. Just drag the students table across there now at the top you've got query type and the one I want to do is the update one, that one. And when you do that it changes this. So you get update two. So if I bring down the date check field, there's that one. And I want to qualify it by the city field, so bring that one down. So the city field, what I want to do there is put a parameter box on. But first of all I need to, first of all I need to tell this what I want to update it to. So I could put a function there like now, if I put now, that will go today's date and time. I don't really want that. I'm just going to type today's date that I want it to update to, which is the 24th of October. Now this bit's quite crucial. I need to qualify it. I don't want it just to do that for every record. I want to use the parameter query, which is what I used, what I covered on the last video, in this box, so that it will only do it for certain things. So if I do the parameter box, which is a square bracket, and then a little prompt for myself, enter the city, close the parameter box. What should happen now is when I run this query, if I just bring this up a bit, when I run this query, only whatever I put, the city that I put in there will be the one that gets this date in. So if I run it and I type Bradford, Bradford, make sure I type that right because I do a typo on that all the time. Okay. It's only doing five rows, yes. And there you have the five rows that have been updated for Bradford, 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 five rows. So that's great. But I want to tweak the query a little bit. Just close this table down. Yes. If I go back to that query, see the symbol slightly different to the other queries? If I just click on it, I'm not going to double click it because it will run it again. I'm just going to right click, design. Every time I run this, the way it is at the moment, I have to change this date. So I don't really want to be doing that. So what I'm going to do in there is put a parameter query as well. So if I do that with a square bracket and type enter the date, in a square bracket, it's now going to ask me two questions. So when I run this one, it's asking me for the date. So I'll put the 1st of November 2022. OK. Then it's going to ask me for the city. So I'll go Leeds this time. OK. It's going to update only three rows, the, the rows that equal Leeds. Yes. I don't get to see it, but I can view it by going into the table. So Leeds, the 1st of November. Top two are Leeds, 1st of November. So that's basically what an update query does. Close that, yes. So now what I can do is from this position, double click. You're about to run an update query, that's a warning. So sometimes you can be doing formulas and it can be increasing things, you've got to be careful. Yes, I do. Then it's asking me for a date, so I'll go 1st of October this time, 2022, and I'll do it for Newcastle. I don't know how many records there are for Newcastle. Okay, there's just one. Yes. Nothing's on the screen. To see the results, you go into it, find Newcastle, 1st of October, 2022. That is how you run an update query, how you create it and how you run it from there. Making sure that you've set it up so it can't 
cause some catastrophic damage to your database. But that's all I want to cover in this little video, how to use an update query. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.